Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Suzanne Goldklang. Congressman Maurice Hinchy made it official, announcing he will retire at the end of his term. Today, he brought his career full circle, announcing its end in the same building it began almost 20 years ago. Jason Weinstein was there. An overwhelmingly friendly crowd packed the Senate House State Historic Site in Kingston, New York, as 10-term Democratic Congressman Maurice Hinchy officially announced he will not seek re-election in November. We love you, Maurice. Yeah. Yeah. Hinchy says he's been recently declared cancer-free by doctors after battling colon cancer. But he says at age 73, he spent the past year developing a greater appreciation for his family and his time, and he's at peace with his decision to retire. Last time, two years ago and two years before that, I said to myself, you know, what are you doing? You, maybe you're staying around here too long. Maybe, maybe somebody else ought to get a chance to come in here and do this. Hinchy has some thoughts on the Congress he's leaving behind. Holy God, yeah. <laughs> wow. The whole situation that is being engaged in down there is not being done effectively, strongly, and with the right objections to make the, make the quality of this country better. As for the district he's leaving behind, it could look radically different in a few months after New York's redistricting process. Two prominent Southern Tier Democrats, Binghamton Mayor Matt Ryan and State Assemblywoman Donald Lupardo, have not ruled out a run for Hinchy's seat. Well, I like both of those people. I like them both very, very much. And I would be uh, happy if they would be interested in running. And um, I will do whatever I can to help them, to work with them. After 18 years in the State Assembly and what will be 20 in Congress, Hinchy says he plans to travel, write, and stay active in public affairs in retirement. And this emotional day begins the next chapter of his life. It's something that I'm going to continue to do, of course, the rest of this year, as hard as I can, and do it most effectively. But after that, I'm going to try to do something else. We'll see what else I can find. In Kingston, Jason Weinstein, Fox 40 News.